Alienation is, your father's an asshole. <laughs> Negative gatekeeping is, hello? Here, it's your father. Uh -huh. I just said your father's an asshole. I didn't have to say it out loud. And what's great is when the child's attorney or the judge speaks to the kid and says, does mommy ever say anything bad about dad? The kids tell them the truth when they say no. They understand everything. They are sponges. They understand it all. They may not completely comprehend everything, but as they get older and then they start putting two and two together, oh my gosh. That's yeah. why you think you, that's why these kids rebel against those type of parents that do that type of stuff. <laughs> this next bit is a little serious, man. We gotta get a little serious. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, no, no we get a little. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <laughs> we get a little serious, man. So the next video, man. The insidious nature of parental alienation. That's right, man. Okay. We, we get mm. we take we get fucking serious, man. Yeah, man. Parents get it together, goddamn. Yes, sir. It's That's right. Got my news on it. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Alienation is, your father's an asshole. <laughs> Negative gatekeeping is, hello? Here, it's your father. Uh -huh. I just said your father's an asshole. I didn't have to say it out loud. And what's great is, when the child's attorney or the judge speaks to the kid and says, does mommy ever say anything bad about dad? The kids tell them the truth when they say, no, she didn't say anything about dad. Mm -hmm. But she said, because here's the difference. What's the difference, ready? Hey, did you have fun with dad? Oh, that's great. Where'd you guys go? Oh, you went to the park? Oh, that's nice. That's good. It was fun. Oh, good. Did you have dinner? Oh, what did you have? Your pizza? Oh, good. I know you like pizza. All right, well, go upstairs, brush your teeth. I'm so glad you're home. I missed you so much when you were away this weekend. Oh, my gosh. Are you okay? Yeah, did you have a good, you okay? Yeah, you had a good time. You were with dad. What you got? You went to the park today? It's so cold today. Did you? Oh, my gosh. Did dad, did you have di pizza? That's all you had for dinner was pizza? Oh, my gosh. Why, why didn't they give you any vegetables? Well, you know, it's okay. You know what? I'm going to make your favorite soup. Go ahead upstairs. And when you come back down, I'm going to make you your favorite soup. And we're going to hang out. And we can watch TV together. Mm. Okay. What did I just do? Mm -hmm. What did I just do? I just alienated that kid from dad in a big, I just said, are you okay? That means dad's dangerous. Why would I not be okay? I was with my dad. Like this is what a, the face of alienation is now, is this negative gatekeeping model. It's this very clever, insidious way of like, I could have been helpful, but I've been so much more. Wow. You found this way to sort of pull the person out from it. And you will not be surprised probably to hear for some of the reasons I think you just said very well, this is something women are really good at. You know what? That was a triggering moment for mm. me. Mm. That was? Why? Yeah, it was. Speak on it. Why? Because that's what I live. Oh, I lived for real? That. I lived that. Yes, I did. When, when Start, you, started out as a, a two-parent home, you know, with, with mom, dad, and, you know, me and sister, you know, we yeah. all living, you know, what, we, what you would call, like, the life. Oh, you, you're the child. <laughs> I was a child, mm -hmm. right. And then it gets to the point where, you know, mom and dad separate in the process yeah, of divorce. Yeah. And now here we are, me and my sister meeting, we're in we're in between this parental battle and the times that we would go to dad whenever that was possible, whenever she would allow us. Yeah, we would and it would be that same thing. And then it would be like literally words that I never knew about. I had to look up because I was like, what the what's trifling? I'd be like, dad, what's the word trifling? <laughs> what? <laughs> like that's what I would hear. Like my dad never said anything negative about my mom, but I would hear it the opposite way. So yeah, I, I lived that. I mean, you know, normally, normally, but of course, I mean, I can't speak for in general, but normally the men don't take it on bash, the chest. Mm -hmm. Um, the mothers, unless you got a real emotional man. Who's in his feelings and shit like that, which is so yeah. But don't put the kids in the middle. No, 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 no. But like, and I and I learned that. You know, I had to learn that. You know, with my children, like to this day, my kids can never say, you know, for the children that I had where I wasn't, you know, yeah. uh, with their dad, you know, um, or I should I say child, but um, I never I never said anything negative about her dad, yeah. never ever. And you, and you know, because at the end of the day, I knew once she got older. She would figure it out on her own. And, and you know what? The women, I don't want to say the women, sorry. The children normally always, I don't want to say hate, but dislike the parent that talk, speaks so negatively of the once other again, parent. Yes. Once again, yeah. that's, that's, that's life for me. Yeah. And it's sad to say because um, a lot of times people are like, oh yeah, you only get one mother. 
but no one understands the trauma that you go through oh. as a child. Oh, yeah. Internally, it's like you live that, and then you start to think, like, wait a minute, am I not good enough? Like, it's, it's a lot that I went through. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. and this is this is just surface level. I, it's, it's deep. It's really deep. A lot of yeah. the stuff that I went through. Yeah, well, you know, hold on, T. I got some. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> So I got he about to give me some. <laughs> I got some for tea, no, man. thank you. It'll knock the worries right yeah. out now. Right out. Let yeah, me trauma. You, let me no more something. trauma. No more. I am not worried. Trauma. Yeah, man. It took years for me to for me to come from up under that that bridge, but I'm good now. That you know, I mean, that's what's up. I mean, you know, it took years. Yeah. It took a long time. Yeah, it I mean, a, plus took, you know, you took, got it together. It took some forgiving that I didn't want to do. But you did. I did. That's why we love you. <laughs> Motherfucking T. What do you guys say, bro? Listen, for me, it's the part of like the immaturity. At the end of the mm -hmm. day, it's about mm -hmm. the kids. So no matter what what the, the split was, that's fine. The the majority of the time, the kids suffer. And it's like you're so selfish worrying about your own feelings and emotions and everything. Not saying that you shouldn't, but you know there's a bigger picture. <laughs> And yeah. so um, the, the kids suffer because, you know, you're being bitter and, you know, you're painting a picture of the dad or you're not letting them see the dad. And, 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 and like and like T said, it's just trauma. And here she goes, you know, an adult woman who still has some, you know, it still affects her in some way. It might not affect her like it did. You know, as a kid when it happened, but it still affects her. So That's it's like idea. as as the women, it's like. Y'all need to, and men too, because some men do it too. So it's like, y'all should see that it's about the child. So as long as this person ain't trying to physically harm you or the child, just suck it up and do what you got to do. If you have to have specific days, okay, we're only going to talk on Wednesdays. That's going to be the day that we discuss the kids. What we going, how we going to uh, swap them, school, whatever. We're going to pick that one day because I, I just don't want to talk to you multiple times. Like something, do something. Because it's just like, it's, it's out of control. And, and and again, it's, the kids is selfish. Yeah, because the kids yeah. the kids feel it the most. So and, yeah. and the, I always say this: at the end of the day, you as a parent, your number one goal should be when your child becomes an adult, you should be able to sit back and ask them, "Hey, how did I do as as a parent?" And they should be able to give you at least a probably a B. See if you was like you had an yeah, addiction or something perfect. like. Nobody's perfect. I mean, and, and yeah, like, yeah, nobody's gonna be a. Yeah, especially like for me, like you know, it took some time. Like, and I know why I made some mistakes, even me as a parent, because it was some things that I did, some of those traumas that kind of sort of because I had my kids young, so those traumas went right on to motherhood for me. Yeah. But at the end of the day, as I was getting older and learning myself, I was actually learning how to be a better mother. So. I can literally talk to my girls now at this point. It was like, man, mom, you was like, oh. I'm like, like, yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm sorry. And I had to tell them I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I had to tell them I was sorry. I was like, look, I didn't know. I'll accept your apology. Whatever. <laughs> Let me. And now you're a better motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> I'm a father fucker. Oh. <laughs> Lord. Hey, <laughs> hey YouTube. Um, Please don't we apologize. Don't hit us with the guidelines. <laughs> Monetization <laughs> snatch right from my fingers, y'all. Yeah, just like that. This episode <laughs> zero. All right, let's, so let's, let's go to the comment, y'all. So we got a comment from Tom the Cat. He sounds exactly like my like my baby's mama. <laughs> and unfortunately, man, you see a lot of a that. lot of it, you, especially yeah. in domestic relations or in family court. Oh my god! So we got the next comment. From Technomat, every lawyer and judge need to go need to go through training like this. <laughs> that, that that's well. So uh, well, I no mean, matter, I, hold on. Let no, me say. It, let me so, say. It, let me say it real quick. I'm, go tech, ahead. tech, I'm gonna speak this to you. They already know it. It's a money thing. That's what I was just about that, to say. It, it's it about ain't got getting nothing paid to do for. about taking care of the child. It's about the. It's about a money yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? Go ahead, T. No, you saying what I was just about, about to say. That, yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with the training. It's about nope. what they getting paid for. Yeah, so it's, it's cash grab. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah, just like you said, they it's a, it's a system designed to do what it does. 
yep. and as long and as it's working we, flawlessly, it's flawlessly, as long as it, it, it keeps doing that, it's going. That's going to be it. So we got the next comment. Next comment from a uh, creative director. OMG, and this is what my stepmom does. Mm. Damn. Yes. We hearing so much about the females. Yes. Like females, y'all gotta get it together. Y'all need to do some healing. Like literally, seriously. It's it's just crazy because y'all have no idea of the cycle of trauma that you create when you put these kids through this. Y'all have no well, idea. Well, for one, they're not really thinking about the, uh, nope. the children. They don't care. They're thinking about themselves. Mm -hmm. Once again, if they go through the, go through some type of healing and understand it, then they will know, yeah, mm -hmm. this is affecting the child, not you. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you're not hurt. The man's not hurt, but the one that's in the middle is the child, especially when they're young. And people, a lot of times, I hate when people say, oh, yeah, they don't know what they thought, what, they, what you're talking about. Them kids, they see everything they oh, understand yeah. everything they are sponges they understand it all they may not completely comprehend everything but as they get older and then they start putting two and two together oh my gosh that's yeah. why you think you that's why these kids rebel against those type of parents that do that type of stuff because it's like well dad you know and now i realize you were the, you were the, you the problem you were the problem you yes. was the issue, was the issue. Yep. so last comments last comment for this video wild dub 06 Yes, my son's mother, but now he's older and can't, and he mm. can't stand her. She never changed. Mm. And then think, and about, that's what happens. And then think about how that how that plays for him going forward and dating. Now he's like, I seen this type of woman, and even though I might not like her, it becomes like an attraction because it's what I'm used to. Because well, yeah. And so now you mess. Now you starting a new cycle of him, and now he got trauma from how you was, and it just keeps snowballing. Right, and that's it what just I keeps said. snowballing it's, it's, because it's a cycle. You, yeah, you can't control yourself. Like, get some, get some help. Go talk to somebody and move on. Yeah, yeah but you know now these days everybody like, I ain't going no therapy. Oh How yeah, you well you know, I mean that sometimes <laughs> that seems like that's 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 uh, that's us black men kryptonite. Oh man, I ain't crazy. They be crazy as a motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't crazy. I ain't going to talk about that. But then again, no you, but then again if, if you keep saying every week that the craziest pussy is the best pussy, then they going to stay crazy. Um, can we not use the P word? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, YouTube. Sorry. Yeah, you got to say coochie. Yes. Coochie. Yeah. And I ain't going to lie. That crazy coochie is some good coochie. That foo foo is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Boy. Now, I, 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 I suggest, gentlemen, that you deal with the uh, crazy foo foo. Uh, under thirty, because you could yeah. you could deal with it. Then once you get over thirty, it, it starts to you know you get bags under your eyes. What's yeah. the difference? Oh, when you're in your twenties, you invincible, so you could take that. Yeah. You can get hit. You get you can get hit in the head with a pot once or twice. You be yeah. alright. Oh my god! You get thirty, <laughs> you know that starts getting you concussions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you yeah. Hey boy, got, come on, T. Tell me, tell me, tell me that crazy sausage ain't get you. you I ain't that, never hit nobody mean, with no dag on pot. A man that gives you a man that give it to you so good. All right, let me ask you, you a question. You lost your mind. You like to hit you, you, push, like you driving four o'clock in the morning to see no, where he at. You. you ever put what? sugar in anybody's tank? <laughs> I told you what I did before. I rest, I rest my case, your honor. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it wasn't me. The defense somebody hired me to do it. 